Good morning and welcome to uh, a warmer place to begin. Um, um, it is good to see you and uh, we're here uh, understanding that we're all made in the image of God and it's from from that that proceeds our ability to love and to be loved and so we give thanks to God for that and in the midst of that we give thanks for Carl. Jesus said, I am the resurrection and the life. Those who believe in me, even though they die, will live. And everyone who lives and believes in me will never die. Do not let your hearts be troubled. Believe in God. Believe also in me. In my Father's house, there are many dwelling places. If it were not so, would I have told you that I go to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and will take you to myself so that where I am, there you may be also. Let us pray. O oh God, we've gathered here in your presence to give thanks for Carl's life, and then to complete our care for his physical needs, the laying of his ashes to rest. As we do so, we trust that even now you behold Carl surrounding him with love and mercy. We pray that you would help us to know that you also uphold us, surrounding us with that same love and that same mercy. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Jesus said, come to me. All you that are weary and are carrying heavy burdens, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you, and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart. And you will find rest for your souls, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Paul said to the Roman church, we know that God makes all things work together for good for those who love God, who are called according to His purpose. We know that all things work together for good for those who love God, who are called according to His purpose. What then are we to say about these things? If God is for us, who is against us? He who did not withhold his own son, but gave him up for all of us, will he not with him also give us everything else? Who will separate us from the love of Christ? Will hardship or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or peril, or sword. No. In all these things, we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. For I am convinced that neither death nor life. Nor angels, nor rulers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor powers, nor height, nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus our Lord. <clears throat> May the words of my mouth and the meditations of all our hearts be acceptable unto you, O Lord, our strength and our Redeemer. Amen. I was told that on one occasion when Carl was asked by a family member if he believed in God, and Carl's answer was this. I may not go to church every Sunday as some people do. Maybe that makes them feel better about themselves. I figure... There must be something that created this place where I get to live and work every day. If that was God, 
then I've been with him every day, not just Sundays. And I would, and I would add, yes, every day, even today. And as I said, at the root of the love that we share for one another and at the root of all the blessings that we receive lies the love of God for us all. And as we come here to give thanks for Carl and to do this labor of love in laying his remains to rest, it is also good for us to remember that though the physical things of life are passing, the love of God goes on forever. And we acknowledge today in thanksgiving that we can trust Carl into God's eternal care because of God's love. Nothing can change his divine love for us. No circumstance can destroy the loving relationship we have with God our Father. And so Jesus, his son, has invited us to come to him, to let him carry our burdens and know his peace, a peace which he brings to us from his heavenly Father. So as we offer the thanksgivings of our hearts and lay Carl's remains to rest, let us thank God for the gift of love and of peace which God provided to us through Carl and for those same gifts that God continues to offer each one of us. In faith, we commend Carl's soul to God and ourselves to God. For God is able to make all things work together for good for us when we place ourselves in his hands. Let us so do, and to God be the glory. And now Khan and I are going to share with you uh, the hymn, Precious Lord, Take My Hand. Precious Lord, take my hand, lead me on, let me stand. I am tired, I am weak, I am worn. Through the storm, through the night, lead me on to the light. Take my hand. Precious Lord, lead me home. When my way grows drear, precious Lord, bring the near. When my life is all lost, hear my cry. Lord Jesus, grant to, to this family and to all here in need the rest you promise when they come to you. Grant also to them your power to work in them the good purposes of your will. Lord God, our Father, we also offer to you our prayers of thanksgiving as we remember Carl. You have graced us with his love, and for your great goodness known in him, 
we give you thanks. Grant, O Lord, to all who know loss at this time that they may have strength to meet the days to come with steadfastness and patience, not sorrowing as those without hope, but in thankful remembrance of your great goodness and in, in a joyful trust in your good purposes, now and for eternity. This we ask in the name of Jesus Christ, our Savior. Amen. The Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Now as we proceed to the cemetery, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. People of faith many, many centuries ago understood the realities of life and where their hope lay. And so I'm going to read for you something that was written long ago. Give rest, O Christ, to your servants with your saints, for sorrow and pain are no more, neither sighing but life everlasting. You only are immortal, the creator and maker of all, and we are mortal, formed of the earth, and to earth shall we return. For so did you ordain when you created me, saying, You are dust, and to dust you shall return. All of us go down to the dust. And yet, even at the grave, we make our song, Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Give rest, O Christ, to your servants with your saints, for sorrow and pain are no more, neither sighing, but life everlasting. Now we'll have the Turn certain hope of the resurrection to eternal life through our Lord Jesus Christ. We commit Carl's remains to the ground, earth to earth, ashes to ashes, dust to dust. The Lord bless his soul and keep him. The Lord make his face to shine upon him and be gracious to him. The Lord lift up his countenance upon him and give him peace. 
Amen. Father of all, we pray to you for those we love but see no longer. Grant to them your truth. Let light perpetually shine upon them. And in your loving wisdom and almighty power, work in them the good purpose of your perfect will through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, Father of mercies and giver of comfort, deal graciously, we pray, with all who mourn, that casting all their care on you, they may know the consolation of your love through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Now the peace of God, which passes all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit rest upon you and remain with you always. Amen. Well, now at this point, uh, we've concluded uh, our main prayers. We're going to uh, have the closing in of the grave. Um, if there are those who would like to place an item in the grave, we'll begin with that. Um, you'll also have opportunity to place a small amount of earth in the grave. And last of all, the grave will be filled in. And so feel free to stay or to go at any time or to help with the filling in.